I'm Josh from Posh, and we're here at the Sub-Zero Wolf Showroom in North Scottsdale. And today, we're going to show you a simple way to poach fish. People are wondering, you're saying, do I need a steamer? Do I need fancy equipment? No, poaching is actually a really, really great way to slowly and carefully cook seafood. A lot of seafood is really delicate. Scallops, shrimp, lobster, sturgeon. Some of these fish that have kind of fleshier, meatier textures, actually more fun to cook real slowly at a low heat to let that kind of delicate sweet flavor show, its, show itself in the end. And we're going to do this real simply. It only takes a few ingredients. What we have here is a little fish stock or coprium. We've taken some fish bones, a touch of vinegar, a little bit of fresh herbs, and brought it to a simmer for about 40 minutes and strained it. We're going to add that to a pot. We're going to start with about a cup and a half for two whole lobster tails or about a pound of fish. And to that we're going to add bring up to a slight heat and add about a half a pound of butter. Now while we add this butter, you may say to yourself, if you cook butter at too high of a heat, it's going to break, isn't it? That's the truth. But the moment that you add butter to a, a wet liquid like that and whisk while you're heating, it strengthens and all of a sudden will be more stable even through a low simmer. So what we're trying to do is, is make a product called beurre fondue or a fondue of butter. And that's the cooking medium that we poach our fish in. If we want to add some fun flavors, I've got a little dried tarragon and white pepper. Or, if you can find fresh tarragon, more power to you. Fresh tarragon is beautiful and elegant, real simple and clean. Does wonders with heartier fish. So what you have to do here is whisk your butter until it all melts. And then you want to take your fish. Here we have a little sturgeon and some lobster tail. And we're going to sprinkle with a little salt on all sides. Our lobster is in the shell and we can cool it and take it out of the shell later or you can remove it from the shell now and do it that way. I feel like the shell maybe lends a little more flavor. So we're going to go ahead and add to our pot real gently, just nestle in there. And again, this isn't very hot right now. This is probably only about 120 degrees. And we're going to let that on a super low flame, just kind of simmer, and we're going to cover it. So as it sits, this maybe takes 12 to 14 minutes, depending upon how, heat, how high your heat is. I'd suggest 140 to 160, approximately. Once we get it done, we're going to have this creamy cooking liquid that you can see. It hasn't broken. It almost looks real buttery, real delicate, real creamy. And we're just going to take our piece of lobster tail out of there, rest it for a few minutes. If you want to weigh it down, you can, absolutely. And then we're going to take our piece of uh, sturgeon out of there. And if you want, in the end, you can sprinkle with a little lemon juice, maybe hit it with a touch of salt, season your mixture real good, and then you can even serve it with your mixture if you want. Add it with a side of lemon for your people to have simple, clean, seafoody flavors. And then you have a real simple technique for poaching fish. Cheers and enjoy. Thank you.